What if the Omicron COVID variant was incurable? As we get closer to the second anniversary of the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic across the world, the biggest story on everybody's mind is the newest variant to be discovered by scientists in South Africa, officially named the Omicron variant because of the Greek naming system that also gave us the worrisome Delta variant earlier this year. Already thought to be spreading throughout both the United States and Europe, the Omicron variant contains over 30 mutations of its spike protein alone which has the potential to make this variant of the virus much more easily spreadable than the previous variants. And while scientists are still working hard across the planet to figure out exactly what these mutations will mean for how we treat and prevent COVID in the coming months, what if the worst case scenario occurs and this specific variant is incurable? First of all, we'll have a bit of reassurance that a coronavirus strain without any cure is an incredibly unlikely scenario. With the mRNA technology used to create the existing COVID vaccines and our expanding understanding of how COVID works, any alterations that did have to be made to our current vaccines to more adequately protect against the surprising new strain could be relatively quickly made into a booster shot, at least compared to how long it took to get the original vaccines made in the first place. But what if the new strain seemed to completely ignore the vaccine's immunity and was not impacted by any of the treatments that are slowly being developed to fight back against COVID infections? Unfortunately, we would likely see further lockdowns and mask requirements as public health officials would want to slow down the spread of this incurable variant and buy scientists more time to figure out whether a cure or a way to further mitigate spread beyond just heavy mask usage. After nearly two years of lockdowns and public health measures, however, it would be difficult to communicate the importance of another lockdown when some parts of society are already furious at the lockdowns we've had so far. The importance of buying more time would need to be stressed, as scientists would need to know just how badly an incurable COVID strain would affect people of different age groups and just how severe the virus is expected to be once someone has caught it. All of these factors would influence just how strict of a lockdown or further rules would have to be put in place, but if the strain truly was incurable, eventually efforts would have to be made to figure out how to balance living in a regular society and ensuring that the virus wasn't wiping out our elderly or more at risk populations. At the end of the day, everything in this video is just speculation based around the hypothetical of Omicron turning out to be an incredibly unique and incurable strain of the coronavirus. As of the recording of this video, scientists across the world are still figuring out exactly what's different with this strain compared to the COVID strains that our vaccines were originally designed against. And while early signs seem to show a higher infection rate with a lower severity of illness, and early reports from Pfizer claiming that their existing booster shot is showing promising results against the Omicron variant, the most important thing we can do right now is make sure that we're listening to what the experts are saying and keep doing everything we can to make society safer for all of us. From wearing masks when needed, to making sure we're all vaccinated and getting our booster shots to cut down on community spread. So I hope you're all doing well, feeling healthy, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I've been Josh Busker, and this has been Life's Biggest Questions.